Workout Barbell Flags. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a cut file for a full page sheet of planner stickers that you can use with your Cricut Explore Air and Cricut Design Space. The Cricut Explore Air has a print and cut feature, but it is limited to 5.5 by 8 inch cut area. These sticker sheets are 8.5 by 11, so we have to do some manual cutting of the stickers. Start out by opening the PDF file in Adobe Illustrator. You'll be asked which page. There are two pages in this document. Just pick one, page one. Before we start editing, we want to create a new layer and lock any existing layers. Make sure that your new layer is selected in the Layers panel. If you can't find the Layers panel, click Top Menu, Window, Layers. Click the pin icon, third down from the left in your toolbox, then click on each corner of the flag. You can hold down the Shift key after you click in between clicks to ensure that Illustrator places your point straight across or straight down from your last point. Now let's disable the fill so we can see the flag behind our box. Now that we have the outline around our sticker, we can touch up the corners. We can see our stickers have rounded corners. I want to set the stroke to 0.1 before I start drawing. Use the white arrow tool called the direct selection tool. You can press A on your keyboard as a shortcut. Now select the top two corner nodes Let's click on the little round dot under one corner and drag it inwards towards the center to round the corners. By selecting both nodes, I'm applying the same amount of rounding to both nodes at once. Let's do the same to the bottom two corners. By now, you have a nice, accurate outline around the first flag. Let's take care of the rest of them with a different tool. Click the top menu, Effect, Distort and Transform, and then Transform. This will open the Transform Effect Toolbox. There are many options in this toolbox well worth exploring, but for now we're going to use the Move option, along with the Copies option. Select the Preview checkbox before we begin. Since we already have one shape, we need nine more copies along this first row. Enter nine in your Copies field. We're going to be guessing at our Move horizontal value so let's just enter one inch to start with. If your display is not showing inches as your units, don't worry, you can change this in your preferences. But right now, you can just enter any reasonable value here and Illustrator will show you the preview of the move operation. So then we can simply adjust our settings accordingly. Right now, we have a shape with an effect applied, but what we really want is a group of 10 separate shapes. To accomplish this, let's go to Object and Expand Appearance. The 10 shapes are currently grouped together. We can leave them grouped for now. Since I have a full page of these flags that I want to cut out, I'm going to repeat this process to copy this row of outlines down the page vertically. Click the top menu effect, distort transform, and transform again. Let's select preview again in the transform effect window, and we need 11 copies of our row of flag outlines. This time, since we're going down the page, we need to use the vertical move option. Again, start at one inch or whatever value you'd like and adjust it until you're satisfied. I found that 0.785 inch worked pretty well, but 0.783 is a perfect match. You can zoom in at the bottom of the document before you open the transform effect box, then you can see your preview much better. Now again, this gives us an effect applied to our first row. We need to go to Object, Expand Appearance to get the individual shapes we need. Now we can draw an 8.5 by 11 inch rectangle around our entire document. This will tell the Cricut Design Space how to properly lay out our cut shapes to match our printed page, which we will print separately. We want to cut our flag outline shapes out of a large rectangle that we just created. Click one of the flags. This will in turn select all the flags because they are grouped. Here we can turn our fill back on. Let's just swap our fill and our stroke colors since we don't need both. This means we will use the minus back feature of our Pathfinder tool. This result will be a bunch of shapes cut out of a large rectangle. The last step for us to do in Illustrator is unlock the layers we locked earlier and then simply delete them. We'll save our document as an SVG file. Now we can load this SVG file into the Cricut Design Space. Click File, Save As, Select SVG as type. On the next window that comes up, you can just click OK to accept the default settings. Now let's go into Cricut Design Space and upload our cut file. 
Create a new project and click on Upload Images icon. Browse for our SVG file. Let's bring it into our canvas. We should see a large black border around many cutout squares. If you see many separate cutout shapes on your layer sidebar and design space, then something went wrong and you should probably revisit the steps. At this point, you can just click go and load up a printed sticker sheet. That's it for this episode of Mark's World. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it.